It's obviously not to be unless there's another injury. Uh, for me, it looks like the game is going to be won down that left side. Who's going to play the better ball? Demi at times is getting you know forward too much and leaving the lad wide. You know, Sims is getting out there. He, if you give him too much space, Sims, he's going to cause a lot of problems for us. But if we can get Demi on the ball, he can cause all sorts of problems for them. Everton, by the way, looking to stretch away at the top of this division. They're one nil up against Derby. But Manchester City right behind them are also one up now in their game tonight. Three points between those two teams in the top two positions of this league. United can go above Sunderland into sixth with a win here tonight. Southampton can go above United if they can get three points, which of course at the moment they're on course for. Now, chance for Alfie Jones to race away and looks for Seager, who got a touch but not a telling touch. Oh, he was offside as well. And the flag goes up anyway, yeah. Yeah, that saved. That was a great chance, great move. Like I said, that's that's the the area where they're going to win the game or where we might win the game. You know, Demi's getting caught forward, so Tosin's got to backtrack. And at that time, there the fullback's got the drop on him, puts a decent cross in, and you know, Sega has been scoring them goals all his career. I'm just surprised he's got into an offside position. Matthew Willock's just been shown a yellow card there. Just caught, uh, I think it was Harrison Reed. He caught late in the build up to that cross in for Seager. Uh, the referee played an advantage but has gone back now and has booked Matty Willock. He's got a runner. Here's Willock. Runner. Redmond and Gribbin with him. He's surrounded as well. He needs to be a bit more positive there. He's got a runner that sent the raft. He's very good at going past people, so against the centre half, he'll fly past him. Just got to have a bit more confidence. Take him on. All of Sunday. Taking on McQueen. Stay strong. Manages to win the ball back as well off the American. Is Hesketh. Regan Poole went with him. So Matty Willock shown a yellow card for this, Clayton. Very harsh, I think. Quinty Redmond there catching Casares. That might have been worse. <laughs> Callum Gribbin wasn't convinced this was a foul, so what do you think? Yeah, he just clipped his heels off. It's a foul. These two sides faced each other in August in St Mary's. Southampton won by two goals to nil. Goals by Jack Stevens and Josh Sims, who's opened the scoring here tonight. And here's Johnson. Sat up beautifully for him. He just couldn't get it to fizz past O'Hara. Yeah, that's another good chance. He's just got to aim a bit, bit higher. And he scores there. Kieran's off his line. Luckily, he doesn't catch it well. It was a chance that was created all too simply, really, by a header from Sam McQueen. I think they could easily be three 0 up now. So you know, it's the good thing is it's one 0 and we st you know we've still got a great chance of going on to win this game. Just got to get a bit more play, get people a bit more positive, running at their defence. Given away to McTominay. He was a little late there on Harrison Reed. I got to say, when he took that touch, then the shot was on. The goalkeeper was outside his box. Come on, come, get going, come on. We just saw in the game last time out against Sunderland a real confidence to the United possession and passing, which since that Southampton goal has gone in has just disappeared. It's Hesketh, forward for Sims. It's good defender from Demi. Slid in well, but he's presented it now to Jones, who looks for Sims again. That is really good work, and then he draws the foul as well. Yeah, he's doing great, Demi. 
like I say, he's, you know, he's up to 16. He's been playing as a centre forward, and you know, in the last year, since he's been out for over a year, you know, he's he's come in and he's doing a great job at left back. Yeah, the season before last, he missed four and a half months through injury. Only played 13 games for the under 18s. Now, of course, Nicky Butt deploying him as the attacking left back. Being tested tonight by Josh Sims, who's a, a real live wire. Yeah, he's a good player. You can see he's, he's on the move. The, even the full back as well, the right back's doing a good job as well. He's getting forward when he can. And I think they know there's a way in down that right hand side. Southampton have it again. Stolen away from United, and now they attack with pace and with the prowess of Seeger, who is stopped by the physical presence and anticipation of Axel Tuanzebic. Yeah, I always fancied Axel there when it was a one on one. Seeger has done brilliant in the last five years coming up here and scoring goals, but today it looks like he's maybe just a yard slower than he was, you know, three or four years ago. Well, you're right. The season before last, he scored 21 goals in 27. Reserve games. Yeah, it just looks a terrific record. Last season he went out on loan to Crew. Only played four times, scored once. For me, his movement's not quick. He doesn't look like he's got that turn of pace. So he's got to be very crafty in what he does with his movement. His first full season with the under 18s, he got 20 goals, and he's been, as you said earlier, banging them in against us in the past in the under 18s in particular, but also in the reserves two seasons ago. Southampton won by a Ryan Seager goal to nil down south. Yeah, that's what happens in the academy football, you know, you, where he's a bit more physical and stronger in them days. Now we, everybody's caught up with him and they're, they're bigger than him and quicker than him. So he's finding it a little bit harder to score now. Tyreek Johnson just catching Callum Gribbin. <laughs> Tottenham are 3-0 up against Reading down at the bottom of the Premier League 2 Division 1. It's bad news for Reading who were rock bottom before tonight started. Tottenham also down there in the mix along with United and Southampton and uh, a few other sides including Leicester who United play soon. It's given away once more and now Hesketh finds Sims and he has a chance for his and Southampton second Fantastic and once players. again Axel Tuanzebe closes the door in the nick of time. I'm thinking Sims has picked up a little niggle over the ankle. I think he's, he might have twisted his ankle as well. Willock to Redmond. On a Sunday into Tuanzebe as Sims trots back. His eyes must have lit up there. Yeah, he took too long there to get the shot off, but fantastic defending there from Axel. On a Sunday. We need bodies in the box. Don't get enough people in the box when we're in crossing positions. Ryan Seeger plays it forward. He just tucked in to cover for Sims, who was still forward after that last attack. We're in the last 10 minutes of this first half now, all of a sudden, but of course there will be a fair wedge of added time before the team talks can be done. Mitchell. McTominay into the area. Fantastic. Just ghosted in there, undetected. Yeah, good play again from Demi. You know, he's the only one for me at the moment who looks like he can break them down. He's doing it every time. You might have just heard a few uh, words or one word in particular that you perhaps didn't want to hear. Apologies for that. Not from you, Clayton. Don't worry. <laughs> in comes the corner. Two and Sebi with a header. Regan Poole trying to make something happen. Anything said around the ground when there aren't 76,000 people shouting and screaming, echoes around. It makes it more entertaining when you're playing. You can hear exactly what they're shouting at you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 
Here's Harrison Reed. Only three first team uh, appearances for him since the middle of December, all of them coming in the FA Cup. Only one Premier League start in the last two years. McQueen trying to find Seeger again. And Hesketh got the ball there. I'm not sure if he got anything on the ball, but you know, it was another great chance for him. It was a better cross, you know, a better ball across the box. It's uh, another goal for him. Griffin just had his shorts pulled there by Seeger and was more annoyed, I think, by the fact he wasn't allowed to carry on. Yeah. Baltwick Jackson goes for the switch. Well, a Sunday then caught Johnson. Game at the moment being really scrappy. regularly punctuated by the whistle. Yeah, it's getting very scrappy out there. Just little niggly fouls. Funny in some ways to see Southampton tonight playing in a kit which is grey with a bit of black <laughs> on it. Of course, the uh, 1996 grey kit gate for United at the Dell. As Hassan gets away with one there. And United uh, have won 11 of the previous 12 games but were 3-0 down at half-time. Came out for the second half, not wearing the grey kit from the first half, but in blue and white stripes. What did it end up? United did win the second half, 1-0. Ryan Giggs scored, but of course, over the 90, it was 3-1 to the Saints. I'm surprised three games later, that. Southampton stayed up on goal difference. So it was a game that mattered to them. Yeah. Every game matters. Goals from Ken Moncow, Neil Shipley and...